can't believe Charmander lost that last challenge, but team really needs to get some something going for it to keep together. So maybe we should have recruit more people into our alliance. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about Ball Toy? I, I like that guy. Uh, I guess Ball Toy could work. I kind of forgot he was even on our team. He is pretty forgettable. I guess it would be great to have someone who goes unnoticed on our side. What do you think about Ball Toy, bro? <laughs> bro. Who's bro. Ball Toy, bro? <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. Bro, I don't know either. He's like the most memorable character in the show. Very memorable indeed. Uh, bro, really? Bro. 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 Yes. We should recruit Baltoy. That's fine. Let's get to that then. Well, that's some interesting information. Do you hear that? Bro, I couldn't hear you over all the bro. I don't think you guys could hear anyone over that. Bro. Bro. Those nerds are probably the biggest alliance on the island right now. If I can somehow figure out a way to split them up, that might level the playing field a bit. Now, how do I go about doing that? Okay, guys, welcome to my room. Oh, my God. So <laughs> what the fuck are all these eggs doing here? I told you they keep the place soundproof. Nobody can hear a thing. Oh my god, that's like so fucking high tech, actually. I think you have a problem if you have this many eggs in a room that sound perfect. Well, maybe you have a problem for not appreciating the fine ovular shape of eggs. Girls, girls, let's not fight. Yeah, you're right. The fairy's right. We shouldn't fighting. We're here to have a meeting about strategy, right? Uh, yeah. So, last time, we failed to get Eevee on our side because of those annoying people on the other team. So we need to figure out a way to get her alone and on our side for sure. I don't know, girls. I don't think she's very interested in us. Whether or not she's interested doesn't matter, because it's just a matter of whether or not we got her off. You're so right. See, this is why Honita is here, because she knows exactly what to do. You're so right. You see? Yeah, you need, you need that ego boost. What? Nothing? Anyway... Well, if we're done talking strategy, I guess you're pretty like eggs. What? Uh, eggs? Yeah, like, do you think he likes eggs? Like, the, their shapes, their, their, their roundness, the, the laying of eggs from other creatures? Do you think he likes them? Uh, what is it with you and eggs? Oh no, what is it with you and all that Ampreg fanfiction? Oh my god. How could you say that? You know how I feel about my Mpreg. Uh, excuse me? Eggs are way hotter. No. Mpreg is way hotter. <laughs> no, eggs are hotter. You're uh, so funny. <laughs> you know what? I think this meeting is over. I'm gonna leave now. She just doesn't understand. Mpreg is like the fucking apex of attractiveness. I write a lot about it. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Did you guys hear? Apparently, Hippini likes Mpreg. Uh, what's Mpreg? It's like when guys get pregnant. Oh, no. I don't know, man. I used to read a lot of it when I was younger. Uh, how did we get to this topic? I thought we were talking about Roombas. Hello. Staring at me. I can feel it. 
here watching us. He's back. Uh, what, what do you mean? It's him. No! Ever since I was a child, he always stared at me, watching, watching. I can't. No. Again. And that is how I eat the entire country of France. These are stupid. Looky, looky. Are you sure? You're okay. I don't think anything is capable of eating that much. No, I have to try to I am. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to eat it if I couldn't have. Ugh. Shut up and go away. What was that? It's the magical fairy, like spirit. It'll grant you three wishes. I want another France to eat. That is my wish. <laughs> I knew it was Chikorita. I just don't care. But she's pretty annoying. <laughs> I hate everyone. Especially that stupid fucking dinosaur and pink ton monster. I wish that would just go away. Should be here any minute now. I have arrived. What is it you wanted to speak with me about? Ah, uh, right. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about- OH SHIT! LOOK AT FLAPPY DISC! What? Where? Where? What? Oh my god, a flappy disc? Where is it? Wait. You? That's just a leaf. I have so Ah, shit. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Well, nice talking to you. What? Yeah, I don't even remember what I was here for anyway. Bye. Welcome, campers. Their next challenge has finally arrived, but we won't be discussing it here, because we are taking this challenge to the beach. Weren't we just at the campsite, like, three seconds ago? No. We, we walked here? Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we were just at the- No, we walked. We walked off screen. You're so funny. But, shut up. Anyway, the challenge today, you guys are going to have to stand on those giant rocks in the water behind you. And those rocks will be smaller rocks of various weights and sizes. Lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. You have to balance on the edges of the big rocks while holding the smaller rocks over your heads. And the team who has the most people standing at the end of the challenge will win. Also, each box, depending on their weight, are worth more points. So, whoever has the most points really wins. Now, you can split off into your teams and discuss strategy. Go for it. I think we should get as many people on box before. And I know I can lift a heavy box, but what about the wizard? And can do that. Bro, do you think you can lift a heavy rock with me? Totally, bro. Bro! All right, we're the heavy rocks, bro. Uh, bro. Dracovish is pretty strong. You can lift a heavy rock, right? I'll take that as a yes. All so, right. With heavy rocks filled out, we need medium and lightweight. I will carry a medium. Uh, 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 so carry a medium. Uh -huh. Uh, anyone else want to do a medium rock? I will take one. Actually, no, I think about it. You have psychic powers. You could totally use that to lift the rock instead of having to rely on carrying it yourself. So right, bestie. Just have at least one more person on the middle waist, just so we have the points. <sighs> I guess I can do it. Okay. Then... Um, well, we still have room for one more middle weight if you... No, I'm not doing it. I totally cannot lift anything super heavy. Uh, Snivy? Right, he doesn't talk to me because I'm poor. Fuck you. Uh, Kickly on Jigglypuff, what about I, uh, I guess I could take one of the lightweight ones. 
I'll take one of those, too. Oh, I guess that works. You just need to make sure that everybody has their rocks up by the end. <laughs> I'm sure their team won't have enough people to do that, at least. So, I think that Kaya, with his psychic powers, should definitely carry one of those heavy boulders. Uh, really? Yeah, I guess it can. You can use like, your telepathy to just lift it up, so that's a free boulder for us. I guess you're right. Oh, what about I the can, others, though? I can carry heavy. I lifted all sorts of ginormous objects back. No, this is, rock is going to be no problem. Uh, sure, whatever, Trigger. Oh, I can lift a heavy object, too. I highly doubt that, but go for it if you want. I could probably manage one, too. Yeah, I th yeah you're right, Vinny. You can definitely handle one. Uh, I can lift a heavy one, too. Uh, you really can, heavy? Yeah, how do you think I got all those giant eggs in my room? Uh, that's a fair point. So we have the five heavy rate boulders left. Figured out now. What about the middle lights? Uh... Anita, can you carry any of them? You're so funny. You're doing Anita, what I can. Anita, I'll definitely carry a middle light boulder. Very, make sure she doesn't fuck anything up. I can probably handle a middle weight one. Great. Uh, here I else. You're gonna die in seven days. Sure, those two could join as well. Uh, and did you carry... A middleweight, or no, I want a lightweight. I'm a rising television star, so I can't just like do any manual labor like that. Sure. Ah. Hey, Evie, why don't we carry some of the lightweight folders together? If Tyrant's gonna be on that rock, uh, we need somebody to make sure he doesn't screw anything over. I guess you're right. I yeah. suppose I can do that. <laughs> If Tyrant's going to be on that wreck, I, I also want to be on there. I think it's going to be so fun. <laughs> I want to give it to you guys. I can't carry anything too heavy. Then I guess that leaves us five on the lightweight. I guess the point value doesn't matter. I mean, look at the other team. You really think they're going to beat us? You're so right. Cappers, grab your rocks because the challenge starts now. Uh, yeah, here's fun. Alright. Uh, uh, this is way too heavy! Haha, <laughs> you're so stupid, huh? Right? Only poor people touch rocks. I guess I that makes you love poor, the then. I don't want to carry this stupid thing. You're so happy. <laughs> oh shit, this is light. Number boulder. You yeah, remember your psychic powers, ball toy. Ugh. Oh boy. All right. Rock. <laughs> this is lighter than I thought it would be. <laughs> this is lighter than I thought it would be, too. Mm, yeah. Delicious. Did you seriously choose the heavy light rock just to eat it? Yes. Look at Tony, you ate the rock that's against the rules you're out. Worth it. <sighs> bro. This is so heavy. We're gonna win, bro. Bro. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, the pain has already started as the campers hold these heavy rocks over their heads. Who do you think's gonna drop first, aside from Lickiton? Uh, your mom. This is going to be an easy win, but Baltoy by our side. Baltoy, you're using psychic powers to hold that rock. You're not actually holding it, and that's against the rules. You're out! Like, motherfucker. Well then, 
I do not appreciate the statement you made, Agron. What statement? You you know the one. Nobody talks about my mother that way. I don't know what you're talking about. My mom, you and she was like. Uh, a bajillion years old, she decided to, like, I don't know, I don't know why, but, like, she turned my pet quailfish free into the ocean. I wasn't even born yet, and I had pet quailfish, and she, like, released it. Can you believe that? That's, uh, that's, that's real interesting, kid. Oh, yeah. You are also using your psychic powers. Now you're out, too. I blame everyone for this, actually. Wow, that was a really good plan, Badu. It's not my fault. He didn't say we had to be holding them. He didn't say we couldn't use like psychic powers or anything. Not well, my fault. No, Curlia is eliminated, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you're curly again, eliminated. Which means there's less competition for me. I can be the one in the spotlight now. <laughs> you're so stupid, Tyrant. <laughs> no, you're stupid. Uh, uh, I'm so tired of this challenge. I already. I quit. I quit too. Only poor people hold rocks. Uh huh. I would hate you even more than the stupid rock. Oh. Uh, They're so fucking. <sighs> How's everyone holding up? Bro, I can lift this thing all day. What about you, bro? I don't know if I can hold this for much longer. Bro. <laughs> bro. <gasps> bro. <laughs> no. Bro, I get to stay off you. Hold on, yeah, uh, you just knocked out Drakovic and Bubba. Bub, you're out too for getting squished. Bro, it's not my fault. He was like in danger. I can't just leave my bro like that. Bro, bro. Yeah, bro. go make out in the trees or something. No, I can't. The trees are already taken. Whatever. Bro, I cannot believe that every part would like, disregard bro's injuries like that. Like, bro! And then I'm going to have my third spin off show, and this time I'm going to be like a spy. And I'm going to be with the famous star Meloetta as my like guest star, secondary character person. Shut up! I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. Tetra's out. Uh, and then I am going, after that show has run its three season course, I'm going to have my fourth spin off show. Oh my god, shut up. I am this close to throwing this rock at you. <laughs> I, I, I'm this close to throwing this rock at him. Oh, close. Bye. Ow. My face. My beautiful face! I can't be seen with all this damage! Dara Pachiriso, you're out! Mm. Oh no, this is just so heavy. I think I'm gonna. Oh, bye. Uh. Sure. If we lose, I'm voting for him. What about you, though, Ted? <sighs> this rock is so heavy! Wow, that was a great performance out there, Benapede. Your team's gonna love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this rock, I can't even feel it. It's so light. Chico, we know you are struggling. It's okay to drop it. We're going to win anyways. I... <laughs> I... What are you talking about? This is, just, this is the easiest thing I've ever lifted! <laughs> Say you come here often? What? Oh. 
looks like nobody's dropping anytime soon. Maybe we should start, like, getting something to tempt them. Alright, let's get this over with. Okay, Evie, now that we're alone, I need to know. We have... We are, like, outnumbered by the amount of guys in this game. So us girls need to stick together. That's why I need you to join me in an all-girls alliance. Uh, after the performance you have put up today, I don't know how I'm feeling on that front. Sorry. You know what? I, she can just be an enemy. That's one more person I have to eliminate. And that's one less person I have to worry about sharing the million dollars with. Well, it looks like I'm their last hope on this rock. Uh, where are you going? Wait, what happened to him? Oh, looks like Oregon just wiped out his entire team, as Andrew Kekleon and Jigglypuff. I guess it's time to call the challenge, then. So, the Pokios win! Woo! Y'all guys, meet me at the campfire. You can vote someone out. I, I don't know what happened. I know I'm probably getting voted out tonight after everything that's happened, but I, I seriously don't know. It's like, I just... Less control. Everything looked like floppy disks, and I had to catch them. I understand. Wait, what's this? There's, there's something stuck to you. Is this... Somebody sabotaged me. <laughs> oh no. Ah, so, please tell me you guys didn't vote for Porygon. Bro, who did you vote for? Uh... <laughs> Bro! Bro, same. I voted for him too, bro. Great. I think it's too late for you, Porygon. But we'll finally figure out who this is and avenge you. I can't believe it. The Alliance got sabotaged. But who could have done this? Who could have known? In front of me, there are 13 Diagas. I only have 10 Oran Berries. Two of which are already given to you directly on for lasting the entire challenge. As for the rest of you, everyone is up for elimination. Who could be going home? Well, it's not. Real Lou. Go to dial. Low Tad. Ah! Hipla. Bro. Zelda. Bro. Dracovish. <laughs> All toy. Number 15. Surprisingly Venipede, despite how aggro he's been. <laughs> and Snivy, the bottom oh, two, Chikorita and Porygon. Yeah, Chikorita, you're a bitch. Nobody on your team liked you, and you were one of the first two people to quit. Yeah, I know, just give me my orange berry already. If Porygon's the one that lost it for us. <laughs> I'm the one that gets to say the things, and yes, Porygon lost it for you, which is why, Chikorita, you get the last orange berry. Thank you. Uh, well, it's time to go home. I was sabotaged. Somebody on our team is ruining this for us. Everybody avenge me! <laughs> Nobody cares. And now that the computer is gone, the Diogas are a bit challenged in the brain department. Though. He was the smartest player. What'll happen? Who knows? Just find out by watching the next episode of Total... Pokemon Island! I wanna I be! Wanna be. I, wanna I wanna be! 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 I wanna be